A few days ago now, I dropped a video comparing the new Titleist AVX golf ball to the Pro V1, the big daddy of golf balls, the one that everybody's used, and I've noticed it got 50,000 views. So if you're one of those 50,000 people, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you've subscribed. If you are new to this channel and you like golf reviews, you like learning how to get better, you like tips, you like course vlogs, consider subscribing. I've got loads more content coming in 2018, but today we are comparing AVX Golf Ball with TaylorMade TP5. We're going to do it and we're going to do it now. in the studio I'm going to focus on irons and I'm going to start with a 5 iron. I don't know why because it's 5.45am and I've not hit a golf ball for three days. But it is the Titleist TMB iron which I'm using so it's kind of cheating anyway. If you've not seen my review on these irons check it out because they are pretty good. Let's check out the AVX with the same 5 iron. So again, if you're wanting a bit more of an in-depth review on the AVX, check out the link below to the AVX versus Pro V1 video, because I go into a lot more detail on what's in the core, dimples on the golf ball, again, not these dimples, the ones on the golf ball, and all of the above. Let's hit some more shots. So interesting there with the AVX, I've hit three or four shots, I didn't get one above 190. The highest I got was 189, and the spin rates were about kind of 4,500 to 4,700, which for a 5 iron is pretty low. The other one was more kind of 5,100, 5,200. It did seem to get me that little bit of extra distance. So like I said in the video before, comparing this with the Pro V1, it's a great golf ball, but it's not for everybody. It is a bit of a low spinning golf ball. Let's hit some TP5s. Good. I just want to draw your attention to the monitor over this way for a second, please. Now obviously as tests go, I'm only a human. I know that might be a big shock to all of you, but I'm not a machine. Some swings that are made will be better than others. But personally, I didn't feel like that swing was any better than the other ones. It's gone a long way further. I've not tried the TP5 ball yet, purposely, because I wanted to try it in an environment like this where I'm comparing it with different golf balls. A lot of people have told me that the TP5 is the, the best ball I've ever played. And these are people which I, say, I would say I respect in the golfing world because they know what they're talking about and they're good golfers. Let's hit a few more and let's get back on that golf course. TP5 is a five piece golf ball and it has a dual spin core, which means it's gonna generate a little bit more spin, which try and knock spin off with this one. So it's gonna be really interesting to see which one performs around the greens and off the tee. I'm gonna spend a lot of time around the greens today when we get outside on the golf course to see which one I feel I could score better with, because that is a massive deal when choosing your golf ball. That's another one exactly the same. So I've hit a handful of five irons there with both golf balls, and as it stands, the TP5 is absolutely smashing the AVX out of the park. They could be down to my swings, like I said, I'm not a machine, I'm human. It depends entirely on the, the golf swing I put on it, but, but, we're talking a good four or five percent further with this than this, and than the Pro V1 that I warmed up with. Let's get out of the golf course, shall we? Okay, so now we're back outside, we're on the chipping green. I'm gonna play some shots, discuss the feel of them, because that, for me, is one of the most important characteristics of a golf ball.
both these balls are feeling really soft. The APX may just be edging it though. Really soft. Okay, we're out here on one of my favorite holes. We can really let it rip on here. I'm gonna send a couple of balls down with each. We're gonna get down there and see which one goes furthest. This is real life testing. Let's do it. I'm gonna hand it to myself there. I've hit some pretty decent drives. Both felt really good, but the AVX felt way, way, way softer. Let's get down there and see how far we've got. I always think it's a funny one with golf balls because for me, a lot of it comes down to how does the ball feel around the greens. And that is what's most important. I know a lot of the cyclist ball fitting guys now say, go with what feels right around the greens. Do you like a soft feeling ball? Do you like a hard feeling ball? I very much like a soft feeling golf ball. And okay, so we've just got down here. I've got three balls that I've clung on. Well, two balls that have clung on to the right side of the fairway. One ball which has missed the right side of the fairway. And a fourth ball, just there. In play, but a tiny bit behind the others and then a left hand rough. Let's see which ones these are. First ball up, Titleist AVX, and you can see if I get kind of adjacent to it here, that other ball's here, so that's bang level, and the other two are up here. So these are the two we want to know about, which one has gone furthest. All of these felt like good shots, remember. TP5 first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven and a bit yards for the other AVX, which means that one over there must also be a TP5. I must say, there's not a lot in it here for me. This wouldn't be enough for me to choose a ball because one goes further. Let's hit some iron shots. So I've come forward here to where the longest drive was because, well, why wouldn't you? I've got about 140 yards in. I'm gonna hit a nine iron because we're using the TMB iron, remember? Let's see what happens to this ball flight with the different golf balls. Four really good shots there, but to be honest, I, I just don't see the difference in the trajectory and it was the same with the AVX and the Pro V1. I don't see the difference out on the golf course. Yes, in the studio, we saw the difference in the spin rate, we saw the difference in the distance with the five iron, but I've hit four good nine irons there and let's see where they are. We have TP5 short, AVX, TP5 and AVX. Again there, distance wise, not enough in it for me to choose a golf ball. I must admit on the full shots there, the TP5 felt better with the iron, so I'm, I'm a bit of a, at a loss as, as to what I would use. As a roundup, I think I'd stay AVX purely because I've played Titleist all my life. The TP5 felt great, it went, it went just as far as it, but it didn't feel as good around the greens. The AVX felt that a little bit softer, and that's what's gonna help me perform. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that review. If you have, please don't be afraid to subscribe. Check out my other content. See you soon.